Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. I'm your host, Richard Clark, and here on my channel, I make videos showing my journey in software development, as well as tutorials on how to fix certain issues and things of that nature. Uh, if you are liking these videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn notifications on, because that's the only way to see new content delivered right to your inbox on YouTube. That being said, let's jump into the video. So, as you can guess by the title, I found a bug with the React Navigation, with setting up React Navigation in React Native. As of last Thursday on July 4th, they, their new version was released, a new version of React Native, React, which is version 0 0.6. After setting up a new app and following the instructions on set, on installing React Navigation, I saw that there is, there was an issue preventing the application from compiling and building for, for you to use it in a, on your Android device. So I figure, hey, let's make a video detailing exactly how I got that to reproduce. But before that, I'm going to show two, a couple examples of me just do, using a bare bones app with nothing installed, getting it to work, and we'll go from there. So let's start with React Native in it, and we'll call this test app. All right. So the first thing we're doing is making a plain, regular app. All right, our app has been initialized, so we're going to change to the test app directory. And we're going to say React Native Start. Loading. All right, that's done. And here in another tab, do the same thing and say React Native Run Android. All right, so this should compile the app and get everything up and running on the Android device. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new standard app that's initialized in React Native. Here, you, and personally, I like this one a lot better. It gives you some information on how to make changes in your app, as well as a link to links to resources that you can use to help you while you build your apps. So this is this is a marvelous job. I really I I like this a lot. Yeah. Uh, all right. So moving ahead, we got our app to work. Again, regular basic app. Next step here, we're going to change to the Android directory. And well, before I do that, it, you can see there's an error, a message in the terminal that says a, that deprecated Gradle features were used in the build, making it incompatible with Gradle 6.0. So to see our version of Gradle that was used, CD Android Gradle V. And I have Gradle 4.4.1 installed. All right. So, but our app still compiled, it was still built, everything worked, and it was installed on the device. So the Gradle version might not be the issue here. So let's clear. Go up. Go up. And and this. Go up. I'm going to remove our folder. And we're going to do it all over again. All right. D and watch S. All right, these are um, these two. Well, actually, other way around. Watch D, watch S. Cool. All right, these keywords. I created these uh, variables in my Bash profile just for killing Watchman crawls. I like to do it between each initialization of an app. Every time I stop working with an app, I do this just till I'm sure that I won't run into any issues with the watchman crawls. Uh, so this keyword, watchman watch delete all, and watch, this keyword is for watchman shut down server. It just saves time in typing. I love it. All right, so we've done that. Let's go to our home screen here. And once again, we're gonna say react native init test app. Okay, so we've initialized our app. Let's go into the test app folder. And we're going to, to set up navigation. 
npm install save react navigation. All right, so npm install save react navigation. Okay. And now I'm for this example, I'm only going to install the react navigation package because I want to see if this is if this has anything to do with the issue I was running into before. All right, so we've got that installed. Last thing, start that JS server, React Native start. And done. And run Android. Okay. All right, once again, our app is installed. Same basic application with all the links to the resources as before. All right, now, again, got the same message about the Gradle features. And if we change to our Android directory and run Gradle V, we'll see again that it's Gradle 441 is installed, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go back out of this folder And this, leave the folder, and watch D, watch S, move the test app folder, and we're going to do it all over again for one last time. So React Native, and hit test app. And let's hit the home button here once again. Okay, our our app is done. It's finished initializing. So let's go into that test app folder. And we're going to, same as last time, we're going to npm install save react navigation. Okay and npm install save react native gesture handler. Let's just make sure that I got that one. npm install, yep, save react native gesture handler. Cool. All right, and that should do it. Now, there's something I want to point out before we proceed is there are instructions to link the react Nat to link the react native gesture handler. However, as of react native 0 0.60 auto linking is enabled. So you don't have to link packages anymore. It should do it automatically for you, do it for you automatically. All right now, the last step is to copy this code into our main activity.java folder. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up VS Code just to get to it a little faster. Okay, here's our app source main Java. And there's the main application.java. Uh, main, acti ah, main activity.java. Okay. So we're going to copy and paste this code right here. I'm just going to zoom this out a bit so I have uh, I can actually copy it. All right, copy, paste, and I'll download this later. All right. Save and close. All right. And that's it for setting up React Native Gesture Handler. All right.
So that's been done. Run the test app. All right, and you already know. So before we start, this time with first example, we had a bare bones app. Second example, we install React Navigation. Both of those examples, in both of those, our app was able to compile and work with no issue. Now we're going to, now that we've installed the React Native Gesture Handler, we're going to see just what happens. React Native start. Done. React Native run Android. All right, okay. So there's a failure here. And if we scroll up to the top, it says the React Native Gesture Handler compile debug Java with Java. So it wasn't able to compile because of something involving the React Native Gesture Handler. Now, I'm also seeing the same issue about the deprecated Gradle versions, the same thing we got in the last two examples. And again, if we change to our Android directory and use Gradle, V, you see we have Gradle version 4.4.1. Now, I'm not sure if there, I, I'm fairly certain that the issue is with the React Native Gesture Handler package. For whatever reason, there is some incompatibility with that and a new version of React Native. So for those of you who have experience with React Native, who have found a fix or workaround, uh, is, is there a fix for this? And if so, is it something that I can just apply once and be done? Or do we have to do this every time we initialize a project? You let me know in the comments below, or you can message me on Twitter at rclarkcf, and then we can, then I'll make another video showing you guys how to fix it. So once again, thank you all so much for tuning in. You can follow me on the social media links below, and uh, I'll talk to you guys, talk to you on the next one. Peace. And also best of luck with, working with react native this is this issue is probably there's probably just like a dotted i or cross t and everything should be fine but um as far as i know at this moment there isn't a way around this for right at this time anyway so um i'll, I'll look into some solutions and see what i can find and yeah once i find something to fix it i'll put up a video showing you guys exactly how to get through it so once again, this is Richard Clark signing out, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.